Good evening. I'm Kelly Lomack, a student in the Masters of Science Nursing at UT Arlington. I'm here to view the book First In, Last Out by John Salka. John Salka is a retired battalion chief with the 18th Battalion, Bronx, New York Fire Department. He was a leader of over 150 firefighters and 30 officers. He is a New York State Certified Instructor. He is a co-lead instructor for HOT, Firefighter Safety and Survival, at FDIC and co-host of the radio program, The Command Post. He is the author of the segment, The Fire Scene, in Firehouse Magazine, Fire Engineering Magazine, Size Up, and FDNY Training Magazine. And the books, First In, Last Out, and The Engine Company. The purpose of this book is to provide a view into how a leader thinks in dire situations. As the fire chief, Chief Salka refers to his personal experiences in his work and applies his experiences to help leaders of all kinds. He claims a lack of leadership is detrimental to the success of an organization, stating strong guidelines and mentoring are just as important. He sh shares that a true leader is seen in how someone treats, invests, and trains in the lowest ranking member of the organization and that becoming a good leader is difficult without understanding his or her subordinates past and how they became who they are today. Chief Salka gives advice in how he has made strong relationships, earned trust, respect from his fire crew, and shares how and this is true in any leadership role. In order to be a successful leader, Chief Salka writes of the leadership triangle, reality, treat people like assets, and develop leaders at all levels of your organization. Treat your people like assets. Ensure that they have the resources that are needed to be effective and efficient. That could be the environment, tools, or training. Invest in your people. Help develop leaders throughout an organization by guiding them into temporary positions. This can be unofficial leaders that are your most senior and experienced. They need protection, and this is your foundation to success. The target audience for this book includes any person in leadership and those aspiring to be leaders. This can be from any discipline, as Chief Salka's leadership strategies are relatable to all professions. The strengths of the book include real-world stories to convey leadership styles and traits that are needed in every successful organization. Leaders must manage change and communicate effectively and aggressively. At the same time, personal stories are shared and many ideas presented are based off of opinions which can be a shortcoming. Not all leaders communicate aggressively and it may be challenging for some. The actions of the leaders determine the actions of followers, and one must learn to make your team's goals and objectives align with the organization's missions and goals. And I believe that this is an objective um, that Chief Sulka wanted to ensure was passed on. As stated in this book, this, um, this read first in last out is for anyone in management or leadership and those that are aspiring to be a leader. An organization such as the fire department in New York needs to be efficient in every action. Um, they have millions of lives depending on their culture of teamwork that the fire department in New York possess. And I highly recommend this book. Not only is it a very interesting read and it's a very easy read, but it provides wonderful leadership strategies and training and it gives insight into the most famous and most heroic fire department in all of the nation. Do you have any questions? Thank you for your time.